Hey YouTube, it's Khadija. I'm going to start a vlog today about working at Superdry. Um, it was my first day today. Um, it was really, really good. Um, as you can see, I'm very excited. Um, but I'm first going to go through the interview process and then I'm going to go through day one of working at Superdry. So um, just to answer questions that I've seen out on the internet about what it's like to work at Superdry and what the interview process is like. And I don't really think um, that the internet really has that many things on there about like working at Superdry. Um, before my interview, I tried to look up what what the interview process was like and what it was like to work at Superdry and literally there's like nothing. So, um thought I'd start a vlog. So, um okay. First of all, the interview process. Um from reading like the discussion forums on um student on the student room and um just on the general like internet um, I thought it was going to be a group interview, and it wasn't at all. Um, it was a small kind of meeting with the manager. Um, the store's not exactly huge. Um, I should have said that first, actually. I'm working at the um, Super Dry and Leamington Spa, which is in Warwickshire, England. Um, it's, it's quite... Well, the store's quite big, but it's not like a huge Super Dry like you'll find in the West End. Um, so there's less customers, I guess, but I mean, we have probably like four staff on the, st on the shop floor at a time, um, which is quite good, including the managers as well. So it's good. Um, okay. So the interview process, it was with the manager and, um, he basically took me into like the office and, um, sat me down and said, um, you know, introduced himself and asked me why I want to work at Superdry. My response was, um, you know, because Superdry is a very individual brand, there's nothing else like it, you know, um, it's crossed between um, Japanese and American style. Like, obviously, like, you have to talk about what it means to you, you can't just use a generic answer because obviously people will see through generic answers. Um, so I just talked about what kind of I felt it meant and it was very it was very honest to me. Like I mean when I go into the shops I just see like very specific style like in terms of like the military boots. It's very Japanese, it's very like vogue, it's very in right now. Um, so that's one of the things. Um, that he asked me. He also asked me, um, why do I want to, um, not why do I want to work at Superdry, um, he asked me what customer service means to me, and I said, um, that I think customers, well, excellent customer service is, um, a customer's experience being positive from the time they enter the store until they leave which includes like asking them if they're okay making sure that there's always someone available to uh, um, tend to their needs um making sure that they have a good experience in the fitting rooms and at the sales desk and when they leave the store so i kind of just think it's a whole process which is what i said and hopefully i said something right because i got the job so um he also asked me, um, what else did he ask me? He asked, he asked, what makes um, Superdry stand out as a brand? And um, I just said that it's literally in like no other brand at all, like out there. That's why it has so many customers. Like, during the interview, I thought that I talked too much, but something was right, I guess. Um, I was just being honest, basically. Like, I'm looking, I was looking for a job um, over summer. Well, not just over summer, but, like, it's summer holidays now, so I was looking for a job. And I was just being honest. Like, I really wanted a job, and I really wanted to work in retail because I love retail. Um, it's something that I've always loved. And I guess um, the manager must have seen 
that genuine like love for the brand so and that's why I was hired um so my interview was on Monday it was about about half an hour maximum it was very relaxed um I wore just a plain like River Island dress um midi dress with um blazers um night blazers black ones um so it was just kind of casual but stylish and it looks I think it looked quite good um and then I got a call the next day about one o'clock in the afternoon and he told me I got the job which is great so he told me that I started on Thursday which is today and um so my first shift started at 9 30 in the morning my the first time I've been up at 9 30 in the morning in a very long time so um I got there, I was really relaxed, we were just in the staff room, um, I met a few of the managers, and the regional manager was in today, scary, um, and just a few of the people, um, someone who um, used to work in Superdry up in Leeds, actually transferred over to our um, Superdry, so he started his first day today, and so did I, and um, literally there were like, um, a couple of other staff there and they're really really nice um, and then um, I got given my name badge which is here and you know it's a nice lanyard it's it's quite it's backwards in the camera but I mean it's really cool um, shows that I work at super dry I got my uniform that's the next thing I'm going to talk about so uniform is very very relaxed you have to wear an item of super dry clothing and anything else you wear has to be um, non-branded so it can't have a big night tick on it it can be like from anywhere like Hollister or whatever but it can't really show the brand as such um, so I just wore like light jeans and um, a pair of bands I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wear bands but um, I think I'll get told if I'm not allowed. Um, makeup, they're very relaxed with it. I mean, I just wore plain makeup just because I like to be quite, you know, fresh and just plain looking. Um, just like minimal eyeliner and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then I wore, um, and then I didn't have anything else on, just this t shirt for the whole day. Um, so you just have to. Wear one item clothing, nothing else with bands on it. It's very simple. Um, and it's very relaxed. It's quite different to other retail stores that I've worked in previously. Um, and then, what else? So, I, I was put onto the shop floor and I was asked to maintain the women's section. Um, it was just including folding clothes and stuff like that. Like, the store was quite quiet because um, it was 9.30 in the morning. So, I had literally nothing to do apart from arrange the stock in size order and stuff like that. Which was fairly easy and quite enjoyable. Um, it was a shift, a shift from 9.30 to 6 o'clock. So, I got a break at about 2 o'clock. No, 1 o'clock. Um, which broke up the day quite nicely. Um... Yeah, so I did. I just literally maintained the clothes from um, nine thirty till twelve thirty ish, and then I was um, doing some a few things on the cash desk and kind of moving around the store, talking to customers, asking if they need any help and what they're interested in, and if I can provide any assistance. Um, and then um, I took my lunch break, which was an hour, and then came back and um, was put on the front so when people come into the store I've got to just ask them like same sort of thing like if they're okay can I provide any help um, it was in the men's section and um, happened to be in the men's section which was at the front um, which was quite fun we're currently um, running a competition um, for a trip to Dubai um, a free trip to Dubai with a thousand pound spending money um, so, I mean, I'm trying to get a lot of customers to sign up to that, which was quite a challenge, um, to say the least. Um, but I enjoyed it. It was my first day and I really did enjoy it. And, um, um, it was quite easy. 
Um, it was quite a relaxed day because there was um, customers in and out, but there weren't too many customers at the same time. Um, managers are very, very nice, and I enjoy working there. Um, I finished at 6 o'clock, and it, it felt like a really nice day. It's my first job since I've been at university, so um, I wasn't. I didn't really know what to expect. But I really enjoyed it. Um, so at the end of the day, manager told me I can go home and just relax. I filled out my starter pack while I was there. And they just seem to know what they're doing. And everyone's really, really nice. And um, the music is really, really cool. I don't know how long um, that will be the case. <laughs> but I mean... You get to, there's a few different albums that they play in the shop, so it's really like, it can keep you really interested for a really long time. Um, and I mean, the clothes are amazing. Oh, oh yeah, that's the other thing I forgot to say about the discount policy for staff members. Um, in your first month, depending on how many days you work, you can, you get 50% off items of clothing. Um, so say if I'm working two days, I'll be able to have two items at 50% off. Um, if I was working four days, four items, five, and so on and so on. So, um, I'm only working two or three days. So I, this is my first top that I've picked out. I like it very much. And, so on. and um, my, I don't know what my second outfit will be. I'm not really sure yet. I was looking around the store today and I was just like, there's so many things to try on. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. But when I um, have my second shift on Monday, I'll decide. Um, and then after the first month, um, you can purchase any um, item at 50% off. Um, obviously, as it's for yourself. Um, yeah, so the discount's really, really good. 50% off at Superdry, like, makes everything mad cheap. So I think I'll be shopping at Superdry from now on. Um, and, yeah, like, literally everything is just really nice at the moment. So I kind of just want to make this vlog to um, show, like, the different stages, like, the first 10 shifts working at super dry and just kind of give some insight into exactly what it's like because I don't think there's anything else out there kind of is showing you know day-to-day -day working at super dry activity so I hope this provided a lot of information if you need any anything else or any of your questions answered just ask me um I'm still a newbie so you no know, don't like invade me with too many questions because I might not know the answer to them but if anything just let me know and um, write a comment underneath and I'll get back to you hope you enjoyed it bye YouTube